Welcome back. Now we are heading to the current affairs and that I'm going to leave it with Buba. Buba, tell us what you brought for us today. Good. Today on the current affairs, we are going to be talking about the security sector reform. Uh, we have seen uh, in the new government, now citizens are very cool with the security officials. We have seen the police department posted a poster in the street telling the citizens that if you see a police officer taking a bribe from your fellow citizens, you can report it to the police department with all their numbers there. And also uh, the soldiers, going up on the Jamie school, when we see soldiers, we used to be scared, we used to be terrified, even seeing a group of soldiers coming at you. Yeah. But today we have very cool soldiers in the traffic and everywhere. And the things have changed. Although there are some setbacks in the security sector reform, you know, with the president's lack of trust, allegedly, it is Gambia soldiers and blah, blah. But things are really improving. Uh, Boba, you are right. Um, what happened is um, security sector reform was part of the main agenda of the coalition government. Mm -hmm. And it is what we were yearning for before, but we are unable to get it. Um, yes, still now there are positive changes on the security, but we still have difficulties. Just to give you some of the, um, the, the, the important changes that have happened, is if you look at the way the police treat people when it comes to demonstration, that itself has definitely shown a very good sign of the security sector reform. But it does not stop from that. I think security sector reform have to do with the mindset of the, of the security personnel. Mm -hmm. Because what was here in existence should have changed. Are they going to change their mindset or they are going to change their regimental system? Because we also, what has happened before, mm -hmm. some people that were green boys were added to the soldiers. Mm -hmm. Or some people that were even dancers were part of our security personnel. And they are still in existence there. Even though perhaps they serve it in good faith. But should that be the strength that should continue? We have also seen the TRRC have made you know, horrible revelations when it comes to the, the, the people that were involved in the jungles and people that were also part of the people that helped in the formation of dictatorship. But they are still there. Is, that, is this the type of security reform that the Gambia is yearning for? And to be quite honest with you, the coalition government came with a very good agenda on the security sector reform. But it seemed to be nothing. Looking at all those people that were involved in violation of very serious human rights violations, but they are still in, in the security sector. We have seen a, a retired major now reinstated into the army. He, he retired not because he wanted to retire, but because of allegations that were leveled before him. But he is now added to the new Gambia. The new Gambia wherein we want to see our security, sec our security personnel mm -hmm. that should have um, handled our sovereignty integrity as a country. That's the people that we should serve as our pride, that we should be proud of them. But it turned to be the other, other round. The Even the way they structure their uniform is not professional, to be honest. So there is still a room for improvement. And if you are to evaluate it, it's like 25% is what the government has achieved. Totally, uh, to me, it is and a disappointment. And what has the EU come well, to help the Gambia? Well, I'm not sure. 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 i am not sure 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 i am well, what I want to say is that the EU has come to the conclusion regarding the Gambian government, um, Omar. Yeah, that's what I want to say about it. So, the whole thing is Gambia, the security is not perfect. Our security is not perfect. Because even our state guard is not, uh, is not guarded by Gambian security personnel. It's like us. So, what is the government telling us? So, for three years, they cannot improve on the past that we have secured our state. So it means our security is questionable. And the question has to do with competency. Are they competent enough? And the economic security Are they very honest? Around? And you look at all the things that the security personnel, when it comes to the police, I think under the police, the only thing that have changed is when it comes to um, when you are buying, uh, when, when you want to pay a fee. 
By then you pay from the police, but now you have to go to immigration. You have to go to um, GRA. That's the only part that have changed to the police. But their modus operandi continue. You have seen where a police officer on the, on the, on the uh, anti-crime didn't pass him to the extent that he was dead. Mm -hmm. Not long ago. You have also seen the, the revolution that has happened before 1994 to um, 2017. There was a formation of junglers, and now there's a formation of anti-crime unit. And if you look at the bulldozers operation, and you look at the anti-crime operation, they are almost the same. And that is not what people expect. What people expect from the security is to have a mindset of ownership, a mindset of nationalism, a mindset of unity, but a mindset of being a soldier. Why Omar, uh, society tamit ngurgi dañuy lacc comme ban olu te lañ am di fi bay ñoo xamantene ñoo nekk wa ECOWAS those who are still in the Gambia for the security of the Gambia what 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 do what can the uh, this uh, sorry like the government what trust do they have in them still they are in the Gambia for, for I can say for no use yeah. yeah yeah I say it's not easy to conclude uh, because the Gambia we all know the historical background that we come from mm -hmm. Uh, when Jami was here, almost more than six times, there was a coup d'etat. Treason. Hmm? More than six times, treason. So it will be very difficult for the recent president to accept those people to be under him. That's a fact. But then... So you, that is the reason why still no, these that, people that, are that, in That can Gambia. be a very good reason. Omar, but then, Omar. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think that point... Uh, is uh, flawed fundamentally. Uh, what Gandhi is a sovereign state, right? What we experienced in December 2016 could be justifiable in the sense that the, the security were loyal to Jammeh. Mm -hmm. Although <clears throat> a day before Jammeh's time expired as a president, some people declared, or some of the security personnel declared their loyalty to the state. Mm -hmm. But still, could we believe in them? Could we trust in them? So this is what resulted. For the for, no, wait for, for, for the ECOWAS to send their soldiers, and you have to understand one thing: Gambia is a is a member of ECOWAS, and uh, that that was a conflict in the Gambia, which ECOWAS was included or in, which ECOWAS had interfered, and they have done diplomatic diplomatic tactics which didn't work. And in diplomacy, you know, they they, they say when diplomacy failed, war ensued. So yeah. that's what exactly happened to force them out of the country. And also, when, when, when these people enter in this country, they have to be here for some time to calm the situation. But that do not justify the fact that the Baos will keep these people. I think what the Baos will have done for the security of this country is to put his trust into the Gambian National Army. To show them and tell them that, look, you are the security of this, of this country. Let, let, him, let him show them his confidence and trust in these people. So then we will be trust. We will be protected. Mm -hmm. If but not, we cannot be protected. Even ECOWAS stay here for 30 years. They cannot guarantee the internal security of this, of this country. Because what we have to look at here is not about the, the, the military civil relationship. That one is cool. We, are, we can still have tech selfies with the soldiers in the street. But now let's look at what has been done systematically that shows us that the security sector reform is successful or is going well. No. Because what had happened in the past 22 years is exactly what has been repeated. For example, just two to three months after the, the TRC started here again, we've seen the security personnel killed on citizens in Firebird. Yes, the Firebird incident. Yeah, sure. Um, Thank that you. Is just to say, that is just to say, still, um, the best that we can advise the government mm. and the people listening, it, if they intend to be part of the security, is for them to have a mindset, a mindset of unity but a mindset of nationalism. But the system also have to change. Their regimental system, the way they give francs to people, have to change. It should be based on merits. Um, the point is not about the soldiers for me. I think uh, the soldiers have their own discriminatory actions. Not only they, the they, soldiers, they, they but the police too, the immigration what? officers, what, what I'm saying is that they are all part of the security. Yes, I'm talking about the security sector, for example. The police, the army, whatever. They have their disciplinary actions that they, that, they, that, 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 that they put in place. For me, the problem here is political. There's a drama here. And this drama is political. For example, uh, if there is no 
direct interference of the, uh, of, of the executive in the army, you will not have seen some of these issues. We know for a fact that the only responsibility, and the soldiers knew that their only responsibility is, for, is, is, is to be, is to guide it to, 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 to this country. But Yame had used them against the citizens. Do you believe still on the police? We have what they call the major crime unit and the crime unit. Let's leave that. Now to look the at people. that. What's I the difference between the crime unit? The anti-crime unit and the major crime unit. That's just the hierarchy of the crimes. That, that, that has not, it, it has that nothing to do with, no, it has that, that, to do with the violation. Existed. You know why? Because they want to put orders to have the position of directors. No, let's put this in the context. The of Let, let's put this in the context. In, in 2018. Can you conclude when, with that? Yeah, yeah. When, to, uh, when Dr. Ismail Asis, a political science director at the University of the Gambia, argued that President Barrow should instill trust in the Gambian army. Because uh, the, the Senegalese army or the Ecos army cannot guarantee us our security. Our security. Right? He was called for questioning. And we were there. Almost four of us were, were, were slept with him in, 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 in serious crime unit. We, we slept there. But that doesn't mean that our rights were violated. We, 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 slept, we slept in the jail or in the serious crime unit with the police. They did not beat us. They just charged. And we blew a tie with them until morning. But so, so that's not the. His question was legitimate to ask whether our security personnel cannot secure us. No, what, what, what I'm trying to put up is that serious crime unit and the, you know, yeah, uh, serious crime, 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 crime Those are just, those are just apparatus. Those okay. are just operational <laughs> stuff. <laughs> police officers, when you ask them, even police officers, when you ask them, they cannot differentiate it. They are the same. Major crime unit and serious crime unit are the same. Mm -hmm. They are the same. This is the system that they have adopted. You cannot do that. You cannot have one run giving it to two people. That's the mentality that they have. Each one should have a position. And each position should be allocated a budget. Remember, they are not the only people that needed the budget. But this has to do with professionalism. Remember, we have a president that is ruling the state, head of state and head of government. So what should stop the police from having one party ruling a department? That, 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 have to be, that have to be changed. Look at a police officer. You see a police officer wearing PIU uniform. You see a PIU uniform wearing a, a, a gadget of a military personnel. And the uniform doesn't work like that. And that is, it is because of the system they have adopted. That has to be changed. You see our security right now, they're complaining about COVID-19, that they are transport. They did not have enough vehicles. What are we doing onto that? That itself has to be reformed because if you want to have a very good security, they must be well equipped. They must be well trained, but they must operate in a professional manner. And that is what is making Gambia to restore confidence onto them. And that is lacking. The president or the government is not doing enough. Even though they have the determination, they have the goodwill, but it has to be manifested. It has to. And the crime is a very good initiative, but they can make reforms onto that. We also need anti-crime. If anti-crime is good in the Congo Sierra, we also need anti-crime in Sierra. We do not have it there. And the people of Sierra did not also deserve equal treatment. They do. Are they giving security personnel access to studies? Most of the security personnel did, does not know the, the, their code of conduct. They are just assuming and doing the best thing. Even though it is good, but they deserve to know their code of conduct. The laws governing them. But they are not. You see how police arrest people? Yes, still they arrest people in a very aggressive manner. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you see a police officer near uh, around your neighbor, you cannot just express how this man, when he wear uniform, how he deal with people. And I think police, the, 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 the P stands for polite. Mm -hmm. As a police officer, they have to polite. The S stands for, you have to make sure that the law is maintained and the O is obedient. The E is enforcement. So all those things have to do with dignity. How you treat people with dignity, but that, that is not in existence. Do you know that even the, the, the rules governing the police, uh, governing the security have to change? Because the number, about the number one rule is the senior is on the left right. The number two is even if the senior is wrong, you have to do what he said. Well, 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 let, let me put this thing. Let, no, no, let, 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 let me put something to you. Yes. Uh, we are talking about the security sector reform. Mm -hmm. And when we are talking about security sector reform, uh, there are a lot of things that need to be changed. But you have to understand one thing. And the police have their way of operation. Yes. The army have its own way of operations. Yes. 
the 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 for me is the fact that how are they going to go about their operations how are they going to operate without the violation of the right of the people this is what the focus is on because what inspired the security sector from idea is because of the past violation of the right of the people by the by the security security personnel this is what we are trying to avert um you you must understand it's not only about the violation of human rights in fact the people that violate human rights more are the people the civilians that violated more right than even the security. But is how are we Some going to... Some don't know how, the human right. That's how, why. How, how are we going to make sure that our police, are, our security personnel are professional? What is your suggestion? That's key. My suggestion is to make sure let them be retrained. Mm -hmm. Let them train their regimental system, but let them give them enough education. Do you know that they only train for six months? Then you, 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 are in, you, you are now regarded as a soldier. Perhaps if you're going for mission, you start training, training. You don't do that. In, the more, in, the, in this model world, wherein even those that are not security personnel are well trained. Well, I think Umar should, 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 should try and file an uh, opinion paper to the Ghana security <laughs> sector. And you move to the next sector. Yeah. Well, we can see. Yeah. Now let us take a break and then come back.